The concert began with Picking Up Her Moments, a commissioned piece composed by Chinese composer Chen Qigang. Chen was also director of music for Beijing's 2008 Olympics opening ceremony. At the podium was world-renowned Chinese conductor Long Yu, artistic director of the Beijing Music Festival, as well as the China Philharmonic Orchestra. He founded the music festival in 1998, navigating it through great changes in the Chinese classical music scene. Classical music faces a lot of challenges in China. It's a quite small circle. However, I believe the majority is often led by minorities in respect of culture as opposed to entertainment. The development of classical music in China cannot be separated from the Beijing Music Festival. So right now, we just want to keep the festival on the right track and keep its professional orientation. The second piece, Variations on the Chinese Melody, featured maestro cellist Misha Maisky. His rendition of Jasmine Flower Song reached the heights of musical poetry. Born in Latvia and educated in Russia, Maisky has visited, performed, and taught in China for decades. He too has witnessed great changes in the classical music scene here. I think it's it's tremendous development, uh, like not only in classical music, of course, like everything else. Every time I have chance and pleasure to come back to China, you see how much it's uh, growing in so many different ways, and in classical music as well. Naturally, the orchestras and uh, young musicians is just amazing. What explosion of quality and quantity. <laughs> Of course, and the new concert halls, which is really fantastic, and Beijing Music Festival is the best proof of how it developed over the years. And so, I'm very honored to be share a little part in this development, and I just hope that、uh, I will have many more occasions in the future to follow this. The last piece of the concert was Max Bruch's Violin Concerto Number、no. One in G Minor, brought to us by renowned Korean violinist Hyun Wah Chun. A prolific recording artist over her 40-year career, she is celebrated throughout the world for her dazzling artistry. For her, the strains of music exceed those of childbirth. I was making recordings just after I had my second child, and my mother said I was pulling my hair, and she said, "It's you are suffering so much." And I told my husband, "This is unbearable." And he said, "It's like giving a birth to a child." And I said, "No, it's giving a birth to a child is a joy because I have my child, but giving a continuous my own birth." Position continuous growth is for me. I think I am never good enough because there's such a possibility. Maisky and Chang are the first in an august roster of world-renowned performers coming to the 18th Beijing Music Festival. It runs through October 24th. Cbc CCTV.